Hey everyone, it's the Dan on the Game here. Welcome back for some Marble World Racing. It's Sonic GP race number four at the Honey Dome. Honey Dome from the Marbler One series. Points coming in to race number four. Team Chaotix on top with Team Babylon and Team Dark. Rounding out top three, Team Adventure and Team Underground sitting in the danger zone on the last two positions. And Vector leads the way ahead of Metal, Sonic, Espio, Jet, Storm, Shadow, Grounder, Orbot and Cubot, Omega, and Rouge rounding out our top 10. We're going to go head trackside now and get ready for race number four. And we're off and going, race number four of the Sonic GP here at the Honey Dome. It is going to be Wave out in front, Classic Sonic, following behind in second place. Then it's Scratch, Storm, and Sonya bringing up the uh, top five. Wave and Storm for Team Babylon, got the top two spots so far. Ten laps around this track. Wave off to a good start. Classic Sonic moving up. Shadow does a nice move up into second. A very tight three-way battle going. Classic Sonic losing a little bit of ground there to Carl. Putting some pressure on Shadow. Tries to make a move. Can't quite get it, but he's still right in there. To Carl. Nice movement up into second. Wave still leads as we get ready for lap three. Oh, Wave had some trouble coming up the ramp, and that's allowed to Carl to move into the lead. Wave recovers though and gets back up in front. Classic Sonic, not too far behind. Again, another tight three-way battle going here. Wave to Carl, Classic Sonic. Then it's Omega and Chow, rounding out our top five. So Wave keeps the lead for now. A bit of Battling going on back there. Classic Sonic and Takal. Gap is 1.3 seconds. Wave hits the divider there. Lost a bit of speed, allowing Takal to catch up. Classic Sonic having a bit of trouble on the wall there. Oh, we just had someone come off the track. I think that might have been Jet. So, someone hitting the wall at an awkward angle. It's managed to come off the track. In fact, yep, there it is. You can see down there, Jet has fallen off the track. He will not be finishing today's race. So he's obviously found some place on the track where there's a bit of a gap in the barriers or just had too much speed or something. We'll have to see how that happened. Uh, unfortunately, we don't really have any replays that we can look at. But uh, once the race is finished, the officials are definitely going to have a little look at the track, see if there's any improvements we can try and make. Make sure that marbles aren't falling off the track. So Wave, Classic Sonic, Chow, Takal, and Omega. Current top five. We hit the halfway point of the race. Have a quick little look through the grid. See how everyone's going at the halfway point. Some of the ones further back here. Shadow, who was actually up the front earlier in the race. He's dropped off significantly. Sonic. And then, of course, we got Jet, who fell off the track. Back up the front though, it is still Wave leading the way. Bit of a battle happening for second place, we'll have a look at that. Chow, Charmy, Classic Sonic, Omega, they're all right in there. The gap is 2.1 seconds from the leader to second. Although it looks like the gap has come down quite a bit here. Wave has in fact now lost the lead, Chow has moved ahead. Wave had that two second lead coming in to that lap and then all of a sudden just lost it all so now it is Chow who leads the way currently sitting 22nd in the championship tied with Tails actually no tied with Manic we read that wrong so Chow way down the order in the championship a win will help him move up some spots for sure teammate Takal sits there in second place so team adventure 
They've been having a bit of a slow season. They want to start getting a move on. Don't want to be in the bottom two spots at the end of the season. Otherwise, their team will miss out for next season. So, uh, so Chow, two laps to go. Have a good 2.5 lead over teammate to Carl. Then Charmy moving up into third. There's Wave, who was leading. It's falling back now. Still in the top five. And Omega also up there. Classic Sonic putting some pressure on, trying to break that top five. Looks like the gap has come down a little. Ooh. Bit of an awkward moment there for Takal, going through the chicane. She bounced off the wall a bit awkwardly, didn't quite nail that section. On to the final lap though, it's Chow. He's 1.3 ahead of Charmy. Hits the center of the, uh, of the barrier there and lost a little bit of time. But luckily Charmy also hit that barrier, so they both kind of were about the same. Charmy is closing in though. Running out of time to try and make a move here. Oh, Chow gets caught up in the Honey Dome section. Charmy's looking now good for a win. He will grab the win. It's Chow and Takao very close, but Takao actually just got ahead of Chow there. So we watch the rest of the field coming in here now. Not a good result for Team Sonic. So everyone has finished except for Jet, who's fallen off the track and he's way out, way out of there. So everyone else has finished, so we're going to declare the race. Race is done. Your winner is Charmy, who won by 1.2 seconds and a very close battle for second place to Carl and teammate Chow. Only a hundredth of a second, maybe even less, between those two. We also had Wave, Omega, Eggman. Chaos, Classic Sonic, Robotnik, and Manic rounding out the top 10. So Jet with the DNF came off the track pretty early in the race. And then we had Sonic, Tails, and Espio at the bottom there. 14.7 seconds covering the whole field. Not a good result there for Team Sonic. 20th, 21st, and 22nd. And it's Chow to Carl and Charmy. Our race winners for race number four of the Sonic GP at the Honey Dome. Congratulations to our race winners. So here's how the scores are looking at the end of race four, halfway through the season. So race number four, Team Adventure doing the best. 67 points for the team. Good points haul indeed. On the other side of things though, Team Sonic, as we already mentioned, Doing a very bad performance today, only 12 points for race 4. So for the team championship, Team Chaotix still leads the way over Team Dark and Team Eggman. The current two teams in the bottom danger zone, it's Team Underground and Team Sonic. Some movers and shakers, Team Adventure moves up two spots with that good performance there. Team Babylon and Team Sonic both dropping two spots. And as our individual championship, we have Charmy back up on the top. Ahead of Vector and Metal Sonic, both tied for second. Then we have Storm and Omega, both tying for fourth. And then it's Shadow rounding out the All-Star Six. We've also got Chaos, Espio, Grounder, and Orbot and Cubot rounding out the top ten. So our biggest movers today, it's Charmy with a massive 14 positions gained from that race. Up to pole position now on top of the leaderboards. And on the other side of things, Jet getting that DNF, dropping him 9 positions down to 13th. So we're now halfway through the championship. Four more races to go. Who's got it in them to win it all? Which teams can keep themselves out of the danger zone and who's going to come home on top? We'll find out in four races time. Until next week, I'll see you guys then.